Another text-to-video announced? It was just a day ago that we did a video on the open source text-to-video. Today, Runway has announced their Gen 2. You might remember a while ago that we did a video on Gen 1, which was Runway's first AI video tool. And today, we'll be having a quick look at Gen 2. But uh, you know what's not right? Left. Gen 2, the next step forward for generative AI. A multi-model AI system that can generate novel videos with text, images, or video clips. Let's uh, check this explainer out. Not too long ago, Runway pushed the boundaries of generative AI with Gen 1. A video-to-video -video model that allows you to use words and images to generate new videos out of existing ones. In the weeks since launching, the model has constantly gotten better. Better temporal consistency, better fidelity, better results. And as more and more people gained access, we unlocked entirely new use cases and displays of creativity. And today, we're excited to announce our biggest unlock yet. Did you see that? Just... Wait, there we go. That's our video from the other week. That's our Gen 1 video tutorial that we did. That's cool. Anyway, let's move on. Excited to announce our biggest unlock yet. Text to video with Gen 2. Now you can generate a video with nothing but words. No driving video, no input image. Gen 2 represents yet another major research milestone and another monumental step forward for generative AI. With Gen 2, anyone, anywhere can suddenly realize entire worlds, animations, stories, anything you can imagine. Gen 2, coming very soon to RunwayML.com. So coming very soon, I wonder what that means. It would be nice to be able to play with this. Unfortunately, as of today, you can't. But uh, I'm sure you will be able to very soon. Just like the text to video that we checked uh, the other day, it's still a little bit janky, but you have to see the potential here. Because, like we said in the other video, this is a little like Stable Diffusion Day 1. It's getting there. It's cool. And it will probably be pretty great in a little while. So here's an example. Aerial drone footage of a mountain range, and this produces this footage. And it's very similar to the open source text video that we checked the other day. And they say here, no lights, no camera, all action. And yeah, it will probably be like that in a little while. It's like filming something new without filming anything at all. Bringing the magic back to making movies. So here's some examples of Gen 2. Like here's the first one. It's text to video, the late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft. It's like a cinemagraph. Now here's the interesting part that the other text to video didn't have. And that is you can have an input image together with your text. So here we have an input image of the guy here and a text, a low angle shot of a man walking down the street, illuminated by the neon signs of the bars around him. And so it kind of resembles him. He has a similar hairstyle. He has a mustache and roughly the same facial features and the low angle or well, not super low angle, but lower angle shot than what was in the original. And you have the neon signs around him here. A lot of, maybe some neon signs here, but it's just a lot of lights. Oh, this is just an image to video without the prompt. So here they're letting the AI run wild with this input image. And well, just a random video out of that. That AI has decided, oh, I want to do clouds, and I'm zooming out with a lot of people walking on the beach. I mean, I guess it makes sense, except the clouds are a little wild. But the clouds are free spirits, I guess they can do whatever they want. Who am I to judge? Mode 4 stylization, and this is not really unique to Gen 2. This was actually available in Gen 1. You have a source video and an input image for the style, and then an output. And this is what we did for our previous Gen 1 video where I showed you how to make the, the martial arts kind of man. This is basically the th same thing here. You have a video input and it changes into a video. So this is like Gen 1 capabilities and probably with some Gen 2 models on top of that. 
So here's something they call mask mode. We have an input video of the dog here. And then you say a dog with black spots on white fur. So it kind of resembles still the dog's movements. Quite obviously, it's not the same dog anymore, but it's getting there. It's a kind of a leopard dog with huge black eyes. And you can even use other inputs. Here's a 3D rendered input that just changes into this swimming character here. I think this will be a great way for future filmmakers to have control. They create sketches or untextured renders to get the exact composition they want. It will kind of texturize everything. And here's an example that we saw a lot of in Gen 1. There were like hundreds of people doing this exact pose, moving their face like this, because uh, someone had done this, it in, um, as an example. Then everyone wanted to do it. So we can see here that character is moving. And that again is, uh, was available in Gen 1 as well. And they're finishing off here by saying a new era for motion pictures or a new era for motion and pictures, which is a kind of a clever wordplay. And if you're a viewer of this channel, you're a big brain person who likes a clever wordplay now and then. But uh, to summarize, this was just a quick look at the Gen 2 announcement because A, we can't do anything about it right now. And B, it's very similar to Gen 1, but it has some new features, basically doing the text to video and the, the input image with the text to a video. So um, I hope I can get to playing with this soon. And as soon as I do, I'll make a video to show you guys. Until that time, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. See ya.